So even the smoke will give a different flavor to the pizza. Okay. So basically, this is one of the Asian food that our forefathers were eating or they ate. Okay, they ate this food and they they, they they had that energy and everything. But recent times, this food is fading out. So I'm here to bring you back. We want to revive the food, to give life to the food again. And uh, Okodo. How many years now you know me? Oh, I'm not sure. 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 Oh, how? Hello, brothers, brothers, sisters, sisters. So, yeah, I do with this award. Uh, cooking with Sindako and I'm back again. Yeah, so I'm in Echo in Central Region, and uh, this is the video that you guys have requested for how to make a pizza. It's a typical fancy food, and uh, they use plantain, overripe plantain, to prepare this food. Today, I'm here, and uh, behind me is the pan of the plantain, okay? So, give you all the rundown and everything how to prepare this food, and uh, man, amazing. Let's do this. If this is your first time watching, can you subscribe? Tell a friend, tell a brother. Let's do this. So basically you need ripe plantain, the very black one. Okay, that's what you need to prepare this food. It's a typical fancy food. Oh, Akans or Asantis also have it. We call it Ufam. But over here we call it a piti. Okay, so this is a basic ingredient that you need. Plantain. So you have to have to We have to wash it. So we are, we are chopping, we are about to pound our red plantain okay so we wash it and uh we peel the skin off so since we're pounding this we need to wash our, our water okay okay so we begin with the pounding of the plantain okay so basically it's all about pounding okay that's the steps or the process now we need to, to blend that What's my blender, sir? No. So basically, those outside, you can if you want to do this, you can uh, blend it. You can use the blender to blend your your plantain. But basically, the basic discussion is that you need to have a very soft uh, plantain. You need to leave it very bright. Over right. Over right. Over, yeah, over right plantain, yeah, the black one, the very black one. Okay. And now uh, we adding ginger. We added we adding groves and uh, groves of celery. Okay, and uh, um, pepper. So since we, we, we will bake this food, we'll be using the leaves. Okay, these are watching leaves. And uh, that's what she's doing. But what you use a green one and there or so I don't know. Green one and I'm one. I don't know. green one also, okay. Okay. Okay, so basically, as you can see, uh, it's now okay. It's not that rough, it's not that smooth. Okay, it's in between, yeah. So at this point, it's okay. As they said, you can blend it using your blender. It's mm, going to be there, it's going to be there, so it's more Okay, so uh, grease of salem and uh, ginger and onion. Okay, so you need to be careful with uh, the quantity that you also take. Yeah, let me open it. Okay. I'm going to open it. 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 Okay, okay. Okay, so this is a pepper. Okay, you can, buy, you can use any pepper of your choice as well. We are grinding our ginger and the grinding stone. So as you guys are requesting for, this is the steps to prepare a pizza. And I hope following these steps, you'll be able to prepare your own a pizza at home, no matter where you are. So that's the grace of Salem, Hentia. The last slice are only on top, and we grind everything together. Okay, so four seasoning, and uh, that's what makes the whole thing. So we, have, we also have flour. So right over right plantain, flour, uh, ginger, grains of salem, uh, onion, and uh, pepper, and salt. Okay, so this ingredient is what you need to prepare your pizza.
Okay, so we're now adding our grinded seasoning to the pounded uh, plantain. Okay, okay. Over, over ripe plantain. The plantain we are sure to many more It depends how I pen them. Okay, so depending on how spicy you want, you can choose to add more ginger and more pepper. Okay, so this is our grinded pepper and we'll see like that. We didn't get a fresh one. Okay. Wait, we need the salt, okay? So we're adding water to it to dissolve it first before uh, we add in the salt. We can't add in the, the raw salt like this. If not, it will not melt, okay? Or it will not dissolve. So water here, the salt will dissolve and it goes inside. Okay. You stir it. Okay, you stir until everything dissolves inside the water. Then you pour in the liquid or the water inside the uh, overripe pounded plantain. The salt goes in like that. Okay, it goes in like that. So we're about to wet our leaves. Okay, so we're using palm oil. Number two, I'm going to put my. I'm going to put my. What the right will be here? So anything oil you can use to uh, wet your leaves. I'm not going to and keep. So this will prevent the uh, equity from sticking inside the leaves. Okay. Then yeah, but look my chance. Look my chance. Then my to cake. Cake na. So as she is saying, if you don't have the leaves, you can use. I'm going to be booked chance for my case. I like adoption. I'm on the cake. So as she is saying, if you don't have the leaves, you can use the, the baking uh, pan. Okay, and also you need to add in oil, the baking pan, then uh, you do it. Man, I'm inside the corner that this lady over here has been selling this uh, EPT for years. She has even taken it to Côte d'Ivoire, EPT International. Wow. So at this point, we'll be adding in our flour. Okay. 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 Uh, okay, so if you don't have flour, you can use cassava flour. Okay, if you don't have the white flour, you can use cassava flour. So basically now we are mixing everything together like this. Okay, we have the flour inside. I tell you, are there some other sauce in a pizza nana? A a ina wa wisu nana. We ni ya bebe. Are there pe? Quantity na mekano. No. Are there? Any some other do a fish in a ya? Uh huh. Oh, you have to buy. Oh, your bed zen zen. Oh, bed zen zen zen. It's already in the fifth fifth one of them. Hmm. You know, eh. Any some other one come in here? You could just like a bed bed. Baba go. You know, bed taka. Taka. Okay. So there you have one of Okay. So at this point, it's all about mixing. Okay. So it shouldn't be so too much uh, soft, it shouldn't be too much uh, hard as well. It should be in between. Mm -hmm. You have to mix it well so that everything mixed together nicely. Okay, there shouldn't be any lumps inside. Oh. Oh. I did this with I think so. Good, no bad. No bad, no bad. Okay. So as I keep saying, it's really amazing how our forefathers were able to mix things together to get amazing food for themselves. All right, man. This is some unique preparation over here, and uh, it's one of the famous food we have on Fanti Land, being Central or Western, a pity. Wow. And the woman who preparing the food is called Amanza Mehu. Amanza Mehu. Wow. So you add in water, you mix everything to get a unique texture and consistency. Okay. So as you can see, the water is gone. Okay, the water is gone. We have something like this. So we're now about to wrap it, or wrap them inside the leaf. So you take the leaf, you hold it like that. Just like it to watch and ruin. Then you fetch some. It goes on top like that and uh, you fold it. Wow. So that's the pizza over there. So you repeat the same thing until you're done with everything. Central one to set the fire. So this is why we're baking the epiting over here. 
Okay. So we're done with the wrapping of the PT. Okay, so it now goes on top of the fire. We now place everything on top like this. So we have a bubble at the bottom. Yeah, we have a bottom, okay, so that the kids can cook it. So everything goes on top like this. This is because she doesn't she doesn't have oven, okay? Oh uh, yeah, the oven that they used to bake bread. So we cover with the curtain or the box, okay? Since we don't have oven to cover the whole thing, the box will cover it so that the smoke or the heat can uh, can cook it. Now we need to work on the fire, making sure that it starts blazing. Fire blazing. So as you can see, the weather has changed very soon to start raining. It's been 30 minutes and we're about to turn it. Okay, so we have something like this. You see how the, th the whole thing has changed? Okay. Wow. Wow. So this is natural cooking, you know, organic cooking with some woods and uh, the chaff from the palm tree or the palm nut. Man, it's not easy. The smoke and everything, it's my eyes, it's red. And uh, so basically we are doing two things at the same time, okay? So over there is the pitti and here is the mosabo. All by this lady because she has been doing this for ages and centuries. This is her phone number 0593879714. So if, if you Cape are Coast, yeah, Cape Coast Central Region, Western, even Accra, and you want to have authentic a pizza, anyway, rice, a mosabo, a sabo, la pewa, what about this? A bodo, a quick baby, just name it. This local, local food snacks. This lady that's it. She has, she has been doing it for ages, ages, ages. And she has amazing uh, experience. She's been doing this from Ghana to Cote d'Ivoire. Can you imagine? So we're testing one to see if it's ready. So those who have requested for a pretty video, I know now you can watch the process and the steps to make your own repeating in Europe, America, and wherever you are. Rockoro. Rockoro, Germany. Rockoro, Christ. Rockoro, Christ. Rockoro, Christ. Yeah. Oh, man. This is the pretty, anyway. The craving food. I tried I tried one in uh, in Volta region, but it was prepared already. But today, I'm bringing you the whole episode, the whole steps. I mean, it's very hot. Let's take a bite. Mm. I'm caught up. I just slide behind me, Papa. Don't shake. It's, very, it's really hot, so you need to be careful. Anyway. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, you have been a Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, it's so delicious. It's really delicious. As I said, you can you can wait when it, everything cools down, then you eat it. But if you want it hot, you need to be very careful. Anyway, it's so delicious and I can feel the variety plantain on you know, the taste of the variety plantain uh, in this. And uh, also a bit of um, uh, the pepper and the ginger as well. Not that much, but you can over, 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 overdo it, over add more of your pepper and ginger if you want it. Okay, if you want it more spicy, you can do it as you want. But basically, this is how a pizza is done. This is how a pizza is Yes, so I hope you like the video. If this is the first time watching, you can subscribe, tell a friend, tell a brother. And uh, you can also watch the episode and the steps to do make your own pizza at home. Let's make it again for Shiza Maneza, cooking with Sindaku, Econ, Central Region. See you on the next video. I'm out. One. Who's the pizza? I think. I swear to you.
Ah, oh, I sure. I go pay you tomorrow. I sell, I give it.